dad. Dad. No, 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 no. Two chances left. Egg. 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 Yeah! <laughs> Hello teachers! Do you use PPT presentation in your classroom? In my case, I use it every day, even in my offline classes. So today, I'm going to share with you one of the PPT games that I usually use in my class. My offline and online students enjoy it, and I will show you how to make it. I hope that it can help you in your class too. And of course, I'll be uploading more and more PPT games and how to make them in this channel. So don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification button so that you will be notified every time I upload some more teaching tips and ESL or EFL game ideas. Thank you so much! Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make this game, the game that you have seen just few seconds earlier of this video um, you first you need to uh, make a blank slide like this then you insert a word art so if you are using this game for a vocabulary uh, game it, or if you're using this game as a vocabulary game then you need just the word art not the picture but you can also use pictures okay if you want to uh, assess whether the student knows the name of the pictures or not. Okay, so let's start with this one. So I'm, I want that there is a question mark, a box with a question mark in the middle. Okay, let's make it a little bit bigger like this. And we need to fill it with color. Let's fill it with color red, for example. Oops, color red, okay, a little bit bigger. Okay. And this time we need to insert the words. Okay, let's insert the words. For example, we are studying um, uh, what words? We're studying phonics and then we need to uh, make them read the CBC, for example, cat. Oh, cat. And it depends on you if you want to fill it with colors as well. Okay, that cap. Okay, for example, dam. Okay, just like that. Okay, let's just make four of four words here. All right, now uh, this time we need to apply animation. So let's go to animations and let's click this first, the one in the middle animation sorry and go to the exit okay we, we choose the exit animation the one that disappears make it disappear exit effects i mean there it is i chose that one and we want to make it disappear as we click on it so we need this trigger animation effect we need to open the animation pane this one so that we will see what we are clicking on for example this this red box is rectangle 2 okay now we need to click the trigger on click off and as you notice that there are so many rectangles and if you don't open your animation pane you wouldn't know what it is so because you open your animation pane and you know what it is now rectangle 2 then you will see that this lightning appears here this indicates that the trigger animation effect has been applied to that uh, uh, element. Okay, now we need to apply the same animation effect to all the other boxes. So for you not to go through the same process, the step-by-step -step process again, just go to the animation painter. Okay, wait, again, you click this first, go to animation painter, and oops, and click the can you see the paint painter um with a cursor the paint brush with a cursor you click the box that you want to have the same effect that's it and you will see that there's a trigger here to trigger lightning 
Okay, the same thing with a cat. Animation painter again with dam. Animation painter again with a cat. Now, the next thing that we need to do is uh, we need to put an indicator that this answer is correct or wrong. So, for example, I want cap to be hidden under this box. So, I just uh, duplicate it and send it to back. Now, we have that cap under there. Okay. Actually, the one that you put under there doesn't need any effect or animation effect at all. The next thing is the indicator if it is right or wrong. So I would usually choose to X for something that is wrong. Send it to back. And I also choose the circle as an indicator that it is a correct answer. Send to back. So just do the same with the other boxes that are wrong. Okay, and I want to duplicate it. So I then send it to back. Send it to, oh, no, no, no. Send it to back. There it is. Now the game is complete. And you can make, you can put as many words as you want. Okay, let's try it out if it works. Okay, so you ask the student, what word is in the box? Then you, you the students take turn by saying, or by reading the words. For example, bat. No, it's not bat. Damn. No, cap, yes, and then you show the correct answer, cap, okay, so that's it, and uh, the same thing with the pictures, all you need to do is uh, just hide a picture here in the middle, the picture that you want, and I also put the same uh, indicator, okay, if it is correct or wrong, mm. So all you need to do is just copy a picture from Google. Okay. I'll show you how to do it. So you would just click on, for example, fan. I'd rather have a clip art image of fan, so okay. And copy image. Go to your PowerPoint presentation. Click it there. There. I have a fan there. And the same thing same thing that you're gonna do actually so animations click on the exit effect okay then click trigger on click of wait what is it picture 5 now you're gonna find for picture 5 picture oh there picture 5 there it is it's done so in this case you can uh, ask the student to name the picture and guess what picture is in that uh, box so easy and you can just make as many as you can you can just copy copy the slides and then just change the picture inside with another picture for example like that and then of course as you change it you you also change the indicator below the picture like that and you're done that's it. It is so simple and I hope that it can help you in your class. I hope that your students and you enjoy this game. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye. Fish. Okay, Diane. What do you think is inside the box? Guess. Dog. Dog? Dog. Okay, let's see. Then, 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 then. <gasps> wow! Wow! <laughs> okay, one more time. There are there is another one. Okay, you have five chances. Okay. All right, ready? What is inside the box? Dog again? Dog. Dog? Oh no, no. This time it's not a dog. Four chances left. Dog. Door. No, 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 no. It's not a door. Three chances left. Three. Dead. Dad. No, 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 no. Two chances left. Egg. 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's an egg. <laughs>
<laughs> very good, Dain. You are very good today. Okay. All right.